Good morning, everybody. It is Friday, and we got Coach Ray leading us in our workout today. I'm Coach Brian Champ. I'm excited to have you guys do our workout today. It's going to be a circuit. It's going to be six exercises, one after the other. We're going to do it six rounds. So uh, 30 seconds each, 10 seconds rest, repeated six times. Let's have some fun. Here's Coach Ray. Where are you, buddy? find you here. We're going to go over the workout together with this guy. Let's all jump in and do some warm exercises. Let's get me out of there. And we get, we'll put him on the screen. So let's all come down in a push-up position right now. Let's just go over these movements together to get your nervous system warmed up. Okay, so let's get push-up position. You don't need a dumbbell. Just, just go ahead and do a row in that plank position. Belly drawn in. Always keep that belly in on your push-ups, your planks, things like that, okay? We're gonna alternate sides, or you can do one side at a time. Okay, that'll be our first movement pattern. Number two is gonna be split squats. It's all going one knee right now. Inhale down, exhale up, okay? If you wanna make it harder, all you have to do is add some weights. Inhale down, exhale up, perfect, okay? Let's do a couple on the other side. With your back hip, tuck it under, tuck it under, okay? There we go. And Robert, that was a back lunge, but all good. So number three, we're gonna do single leg deadlifts. Let's go ahead and go feet together, inhale down, exhale up. Yes, let's do a couple of those. So with the other leg, bend it. Bend it about 90 degrees, and we just wanna hinge. Let's get a couple on each side, inhale down, exhale up. Keeping the shoulders back and down. Again, adding load to make it harder, okay? So today is strength day. So if you feel good about your movements and you have no injuries, let's add some weight today. Challenge yourself for 30 seconds. All right, next, number four, push-up position, spread your fingers. We're gonna drive the knee up as you come up. Drive the knee up as you come up. It actually makes it easier for doing push-ups. Explode up. So the timing is everything. Yep, there you go. Everybody looks good. Keeping that belly drawn in on that one. And then we got side lunges. We're gonna do a front-loaded pattern. Notice how raised arms are. If you have a sandbag or dumbbells, you can just put them in this position. And that actually engages your core a little more, keeps you upright. Inhale down, exhale up, okay? And then finally, number six, our final movement. Again, we're gonna do all these six times in a circuit format. So if you don't have a stability ball, but you happen to have an ottoman close by, put your head and your shoulders on the ottoman and keep your hips up. You want to engage your glutes. Inhale down, exhale up. And that is it. That is our movements. All right? So let's have some fun today. Let's work hard. 30 seconds for everything. Bye, guys. Good morning, my friends. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. All right, let's go hands right below the shoulders here. Working around the wrist today. Six rounds, six exercises, so 36 total rounds. Good other direction here. Hands out to the sides. Side to side here. Thanks for making time for you today. One hand forward, one hand back. Kind of nice having a, an online community where you stay accountable to each other, even if you're just seeing each other through a screen. Switch hands. Good. Last one here. Let's flip the hands over. And let's go hands out. I did not have my heart rate monitor on last round, so I don't, I felt like it was a very steady state type workout today to where it's, it's only gonna get huffy and puffy on a few of the exercises let's reach. So just depending on how much weight you're using today, it's more, it's slower movements today. Window shield wiper there. So not a lot of running around or hopping around. This is a strength day. Let's go right leg out. Just add weight as you can. Reaching for those toes. 
Yeah, and window shield wiper. Awesome. From there, we already did a couple. Let's get a couple more push-ups here so we can practice that move here. Even from the knee push-up position, hands are gonna be right below shoulders, elbows very tight to rib cage. We can drive up. This would actually be a modification. Okay, let's get two on each side. Excellent. From there, hips up in the air. Big body parts today. Let's walk the feet to the hands. Slowly come on up. Good. Let's go heel to toe, heel to toe here. Yeah. Turn the feet in, get the outsides of the calves. Can you get those wrist circles here? Good, awesome. So feet together. Let's go around. We're going clockwise or counterclockwise. Good, other direction. Just waking up the Achilles, the calves, ankles. Good, hands on the knees. Same thing, just working around the feet, trying to keep heels down. Other direction. Awesome. Hands on the hips. Okay. From the side here, let's go. Soft knees, feet together, soft knees. Just hinging. Remember, we have the, we have the uh, single leg deadlift today. But this is kind of that motion. Basically, it's the same motion as this, flat back. Second, my shoulders start to round all the pressure goes to my lower back. So you want to keep the shoulders back and down as we're going down. And wherever that takes you, even if it's right there, that's totally fine. Let's practice that move to you, that single leg deadlift. Now lift a foot, working down, right back up. You can do a little kickstand at the top. Just go two on each leg. That's in the exercise number three. Good. Awesome. From there, let's go rotation. Good, now really start to get it open. We did some rotations on Wednesday, no rotations today, but you'll be rotating in life. So let's go thumbs down here. Thumbs up. Good, hug it out. Let's go hands together. Let's push, push against each other. You should feel this right in the chest. Waking up the chest, the pecs. Good, relax. Again. Awesome, let's go above head for a tricep stretch. We'll be needing those for our commando push-ups and our tricep extensions today. Switch hands. Let's go shoulder shrugs, back and down, up, back and down. Good, reach, back and down, reach. Good, go, next circles here. Side to side, look to your right. Look to your left. Awesome. Okay, let's quickly go through these exercises again, one by one. Make sure you have the proper weight that you want to use because we're going 30 seconds on, 10 second break and jumping right into the next exercise. So I want to make sure you're prepared so you get as much out of this as possible. Starting with the Renegade Rose. Um, if you have a Swiss ball, you can lay on it and get your rows. Otherwise, you're going to do Renegade Rose with me and most of us. Renegade rows, you can do a couple of different options. Come down with me here. Let's make the most of our time. A couple of options. If you have two dumbbells, awesome. Wide feet and you can just alternate. If you only have one, I will have the timer next to me. So at halfway, I'll say switch arms, okay? I'm gonna do first round with these and all the rest of the rounds I'm gonna do with 
um, a single. So I'll have to switch at halfway, okay? From there, we're going right into a split squat so we can come from the ground, grab a weight if you can, okay? Split squat, come with me here. Straight up, squeeze the glute at the top, straight down. Let's do two on each side, switch. Okay, chest up. Brian talked about tucking the hip. You have your chest up. Our hips tend to sink right where they need to be under, okay? That's second one. Third one, we practiced this already. It's gonna be that single leg deadlift, okay? Feet together, lift one, hinging, hinging, hinging. Coming forward, one on each leg just so you get a feel for it here. Good, keeping the back as flat as possible. After that, we got the commando push-ups. Come on down to the ground with me real quick. Just do one on each leg, okay? Hands are right next to the rib cage, tight to the chest, drive up, knee to chest. Drive up, knee to chest, okay? It's exercise number four. Number five, we're gonna do the side lunges. If you have the ability, whether it's dumbbells or a sandbag or whatever it might be, gonna be a front hold. Elbows are gonna be up, out to the side, drive back up, see how deep we can get. Last one, whether it's with an ottoman, I'm gonna be doing them up on the ground, it's just quicker, easier for me. We have that tricep extension with one or two weights. Two weights is preferable. One weight you can hold a dumbbell on the side, you just need to be really careful that it doesn't slip out of your hands. It's your face. And we don't want that to happen, okay? 10 second breather, let's grab some water, towel off if you need to. We're getting right into it. We got exercise number one is gonna be the renegade row. Or if you have a Swiss ball, you can do a Swiss ball row. Take water breaks as needed because we're not stopping 24 straight minutes. Are you ready, my friend? When you hear this initial bell, if you hear the initial bell, you got five seconds till go time. Three, two, one. Here we go, Renegade Rose. Exercise number one. I'm coming this whole first round with you. Glutes are tight as much as possible, feet are wide. The body is gonna wanna twist, it's gonna wanna rotate. Don't let it. Halfway. 10 seconds. This is exercise one of 36. That's encouraging. Three, two, and relax. Good. We have the uh, split squats coming up. If you have a weight, great. If you just want to warm up the body still, that's fine. Three, two, one. 90 degrees on both legs. Get them wide enough, far enough apart where you can bring that brat back and straight up, straight down. Awesome, halfway. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Great, I'm gonna use the same weight for my single leg deadlifts coming up. We got 15 seconds on each leg, three. Shoulders back now, two, one. Here we go. Again, this is a slower exercise. I promise you the hamstrings will feel it tomorrow. Keep the shoulders back and down, halfway switch legs. At the top, pull the shoulders back. Five seconds, three, two, one. We have push-ups coming up in 10 seconds. Remember, really use the feet to drive, knee to chest, makes the push-up a little bit easier. Here we go, we're off. Twenty seconds. Breathe in on the way down. Five, four, three, two. Okay, we have the side lunge. If you can do a front hold, that's great. But it's a dumbbell or a sandbag. Three, two, 
one. Here we go. Get deep, explode back to start. I like to show this one from the side. Hip goes back. Chest stays up as much as possible. Alternating movement. 10 seconds. Remember, if you keep your elbows up, it helps your chest stay tall and relax. Last exercise coming up. Let the tricep kick that. Remember, if the Swiss ball, that's ideal. We are on. I'm using a kettlebell, hips are up, glutes are squeezed. Halfway. Right after this 10 second breather, we're going right into round two. Starting with those renegade rows, we'll be in that push up position. Three, two, one. All right, this round, I'm primarily going to come check your form. Three, Two, one. Here we go. We're back into those renegade rows. We're in a push-up position right away. We're in it. And if you have that Swiss ball, like Robert's got that. Good. Halfway right there. Good job, Steph. Nice job. Your hips aren't moving at all. Looks good. good. Keep them home. Keep them still. They're going to want to move. Don't let them move. Three, two, and relax. Awesome. Exercise number two, we have the split squat. Feet wide, straight up, straight down. I'm just watching right now, we are on. I'm watching right now, so let's see if we can keep our feet out there, Stephanie. We're gonna, we're gonna stay in that split squat. Staying in this position, straight up, straight down. There we go. Think about that back knee, straight up, straight down. Good, halfway. Which legs if you have? Good stability right there, Robert. Straight up, straight down, looks really nice. Good, Carlo, good depth. Three, two, one. All right, I'm jumping back in with you. We're on the single leg deadlift here. I'm gonna go with the kettlebell this time. Remember, pull the shoulders back and down. Keep it at a three, two, one, here we go. Breathe in. Draw, belly button's drawn in, keeping that core engaged. Switch legs. Three, two, and relax. We've got the commando push-ups coming up. This is round two. Check out some push-up form with you guys. Three, two, start flat on the ground, all the way down when the down position. Good, drive up, knee to chest. There you go, Robert looks great, brother. Keep that pace. So the hips are coming up at the same time as the rest of the body. There you go, Steph. Good lower drive up, yeah. Morning, Tamara. We got Sherry in the house. Three, two, and awesome. We have the side lunge. Front hold with the side lunge coming up. If you can, show me from the side, so this view, so that I can see if the hips are going back and if the knee is staying home. And that side view if you can. Lori looks really good. So Tamara, if we can get that leg straight when we go outside. There you go. Let me see. Keep those toes pointed at the camera. There you go, Steph. Way to get the power back to start. Hey, we got Rob back. Awesome. Hey, we got the tricep extension driving down. This is going to be the end of round two. We are moving and grooving. Laying on the ground, tricep extension or on the ball. Good. You're bringing them elbows stay close so they're not flaring out. Elbows stay close. Drive straight to the temple and explode up. Nice job keeping those hips up, Steph. Squeeze the glutes as our heels drive into the ground. Same thing, Robert. So, uh, Robert, bring your elbows in. Just 
take a peek at the camera real quick, Robert. Got about a mix of a, there you go, that's better. So, and relax. Got seven seconds till round three. I'm just gonna make one quick, um, Robert, and I saw a couple other people. So, um, when you're back, they, your elbows were like this. So we wanna bring them in. Hopefully you can see me here. So I saw kind of out here. You want them in. My elbows aren't moving. It's just, I'm hinging. Hinging here, hinging up. It's like giving somebody a high five, okay? Um, I would turn the dumbbells a uh, hammer curl. Like, we aren't on our next exercise. I just wanted to demonstrate. So bring them up here rather than twist it, okay? Awesome, my friends. Let's get ready for round three of the Renegade Rose. Three, two, one. Here we go, round three. Remember, we want to keep the core tight, belly button drawn in, not allowing those hips to move as we pull. That's halfway right there. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Awesome, we have split squats. Split squats. Three, two, here we go. Straight down, straight up. If you're using a sandbag, this one also, you wanna keep elbows tight. One more on this side, let's switch legs. Good. And we're at the top, we can squeeze the glutes. Two, and relax. Awesome. Single leg deadlift coming up. I personally like a kettlebell for this. Your choice of equipment, of course. There we go, round three on these. Shoulders back and down, breathe in. Explode on the way up. Halfway switch legs. Two, one, we got the commando push-ups coming up. Remember, hands right underneath shoulder, very close to chest, using the legs to drive up. Let's start fully on the ground. Whole body comes up at the same time. Don't let the hips lag behind. Great way to do that is by squeezing the glutes throughout that whole range of motion. Six seconds, three, two, one. So we got the side lunge coming up. Side lunge. I'm gonna try to front load it. Three, two, here we go. If you only have room for one, one direction, I will let you know when the halfway whistle is. Good, Carla, way to keep chest up as you go down. Power stuff. Make sure I'm keeping elbows up. Hey, Zach, how we doing? Good. Here we go, Laurie. Way to take hips back. Three, two, one. Awesome. We got the tricep extension. I'm going to watch again. Trying to keep elbows in. And then again, if we're going to do these a dumbbell, hammer curl style. Nice job, Steph, getting the hips up. Squeeze. Much better, Robert. That's what I'm talking about. Remember, just shoulders and head on the ball. You're using a Swiss ball. There you go, Carla. Full extension, Carla. Good. Bring it down. Explode up. Yes. That is what I'm talking about. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Are you guys ready for round? I don't even know round we're on. Probably four. Four. Yep. Single dumbbell. 
Here we go. We are on. This is round four. Back to the renegade row. So I'm using a single dumbbell. I'm going to let you know when to switch the halfway if you're also using a single dumbbell. The heavier you go, pass switch if you're using a single dumbbell. The heavier you go, the wider you want your feet are so that they can help you keep your hips steady. Three, two, one. Awesome. Split squats coming up. I'll try some heavy weights for this one. See how it goes. Three, two, one. Here we go. We are on. Squeeze the glutes. 20 seconds. Switch legs. Switch legs. Three, two, one. Ooh, that is heavy. Okay. Single leg deadlift. Let me come check you guys out for a second. Three, two, one. Here we go. Again, if you don't quite have the balance, to the grip the ground with the, with the pinky toe and the big toe. Breathing plays a big role in this one. Breathing as we come down, eyes are forward, breathing out on the way up. There you go. Switch legs if you haven't. Breathe. And relax. We're back to the commando push up. Good. Check out some form. Breathe. Two. Glutes are tight. Trying to come up the whole Put the whole body at the same time. Drive that knee to chest. Using a little momentum from the legs to drive, drive up. Good, Robert. Tamara, we're actually on a different exercise, but you can <laughs> you, you do that one, and then we'll come back to that. So we have the side lunge. Tamara, for your last ones, we'll do the Push-ups, if you, maybe you have some shoulder stuff going on, I'm not sure. Here we go, we have the front-loaded side lunge. Front-loaded side lunge. <sighs> Sherry and I are in sync. Good, halfway right there. We're gonna get super deep, explode back to center off of that whole foot. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Awesome, last exercise. Back to the triceps. Tricep extension. Three, two, one. Here we go. If we can, get your hips up, squeeze. Remember, this weight should come somewhere right near the temple. You have the dumbbells or the forehead using a single weight. On the street, they call these school crushers. A good reason. Five seconds, three, two, one. Are we ready, my friends? We're going right back to the renegade rows for round five. Three, two, one. If you need to take a breather, take a breather. Okay, I've got light weights this round, so I'm going for speed. When I hear that double whistle, I'll let you know in case you're using a single weight. Halfway. Remember, core is engaged, belly button's drawn in. Three, two, one. Awesome, next exercise, we have the split squat. Weighted if we can. Straight up, straight down. Here we go, we are on the split squat here. Straight up, straight down. Good, Tamara, make sure at the top we got full extension of the legs and then squeeze the glutes. Halfway right there, switch legs. 
good shape, good pace here. I think we can take our feet out a little bit farther. Yep, yep, go straight. Yeah, right there, straight down, straight up. Excellent. Very nice. Straight leg deadlift. Let's all work on that balance. Three, two. I'm gonna pick up the weight carefully. Feet together. Foot up. Hinge. Explode. Breathe in. Halfway switch legs. My single leg deadlifts are not pretty today. And I am keeping my shoulders back and down so they're at least safe. Whew, I'm all over the place. Three, two. Right there, we got commando push-ups coming up. Head on down, my friends. Hands right next to chest. Three, two, one. Everything comes up at the same time. Breathe in on the way down, out on the way up. Halfway. Three, two, one. Awesome. We got the side lunge coming up. Side lunge. We are deep into round five here. And if we can hold something in the front, let's go side lunge here. Good, Tamara, if you can go high with the hold right here. There you go. There you go, Sherry. Good step, explode back. Squeeze the glutes at the top. There you go, EJ. Excellent. Hey, finishing strong right here. Tricep extension. Tricep extension. Finishing round five. I'm going to go all out for round six. Here we go. Good. Remember, the elbows are staying home. Just driving straight up. We are on a tricep extension. Good. Steph, see if you can walk it out a little bit on the ball. Keep walking. Yeah, right there. Just shoulders, just head on the ball. Nice job driving the hips up. There you go, Carla. Drive up. Yes, good extension. Awesome. Hey, my friends, this is the last round. This is last six we're on. This is going to be number 31 right here. 31 of 36. Wide feet. Let's go with the Renegade Row. Way if you need to switch, feel free to switch. Three, two, one. Good. We got the split squat coming up. Three, two, one. Here we go. Straight down, straight up. Chest up nice and tall. I'm going to sink those hips. Breathe in on the way down. Squeeze the glute at the top. A little more on this side, then we'll switch sides. Squeeze the glute at the top. Do it five seconds. Three, two, awesome. Okay, we have that single leg deadlift coming up. Three, two. Side button drawn in. Switch legs. Oh man, my. Three. Two, one. Awesome. Whew. Okay, we got the commando push-ups coming up. Hands right next to ribcage. 
Here we go, commando push-ups. You can get about 10 to 12. 10 to 12. Glutes are tight, knee to chest. Good step work to get that body up all at the same time. I know it's not easy. There you go. There you go, Tamara. Very nice. Here we go, Sherry. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, we have the side lunge. Side lunge, front loaded side lunge. Three, two, one. Front loaded, let's move. This is number 35 of 36. Somehow we made it. We didn't drive up. I didn't mention this, but we don't have a finisher today. Six is our finisher. So everything we have. We're a minute 31 away from victory here. No, a minute. Three, two, one. Awesome, soften down to the ground. Tricep extensions to finish this morning strong. Three, two, one. Here we go. Hips are up. Halfway. Five seconds. And relax. Great job, everybody. Hey, let's rest it out right here. Since we're already down here. Wow. Great stuff, my friends. So, I'm going to take... That's the victory bell right there, my friends. Let's take some time just to breathe. Body completely flat. Let's squeeze the glutes here. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze. Big deep breath in. Hold. Big deep breath out. And totally relax the glutes and just let the whole body fall into the floor. Let's work some box breathing. We'll go inhale for three, hold for three, exhale for three, empty for three. Ready, inhale, hold, exhale, empty. Inhale deep into the belly, hold, relaxed hold. Smooth exhale through the pursed lips. Blow out those birthday candles. Then empty. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Empty. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Empty. Last round. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Empty. Now you keep that cadence going for a couple of couple of deep breath rounds. Bring right knee to chest. So the nice thing about the deep breath is it actually commands your focus. As you're focusing on that deep breath, just having that soft awareness of it, a lot of times the things that's been distracting us, annoying us, bothering us, eating at us, they tend to disappear because we can only think of one thing at a time. Let's go right ankle, left knee for a figure four stretch. So think about the deep breath as a centering point, a way to get you back to the present moment, away from the past, away from the future. And just to be right here, right now, let's go left knee to chest. Deep 
The deep breath is also the controller of emotions. So the better that you can regulate your breathing, let's go left ankle, right knee, push down on left knee. The better you can catch yourself before you get into what we call a, a red light. We're gonna stop, pause, and regroup. Let's wrap a hand around the left shin, drive them to a seated position. Flip it over now for a little pigeon pose action. I was out on the golf course last night. Part of my pre-shot routine is breathing. So when I take my big deep breath and slowly blow it out, at the end of that movement, I start my, my backswing. So everything is centered off the breath to get me focused, ready, and in the present moment. You can figure out how to use that in your own life. What are those things where that deep breath can be a huge help to switch legs? to you, whether it's before a big conversation, whether it's trying to go to sleep, uh, just taking deep breaths, do 50 breaths, count from 50 down to one, you'll probably make it to about 36 before you fall asleep. Good, plant the hands, hips up in the air. Paw the ground with the heels and walk the feet to the hands, slowly come on up. How are we doing, my friends? It was a good workout right there. Good steady state of good intensity. So, hope wow. you're feeling good. Good stuff. Yeah, it was good great. Thank you. Friday, huh? Yeah. yeah. That was Absolutely. Kick -ass. So, we used um, some major muscle groups, so it wasn't fast per se, but it was using the biggest muscles we have. So the calorie burn actually should be pretty decent. Um, but let's get a little breather in, or let's get breathe on three as a group, and then you guys can start your weekend, head to the Bahamas or whatever you have going on. <laughs> All right, my friends. Breathe on three. One, two, three, breathe. Three. Great. All right. Good to see you, everybody. Hey, see you thank Carla. you. Have Thanks a good Ray. weekend. Thank Take care, Ray. Okay, good to see you, Steph. Good to see you, Tamara. That's some Thanks, Ray. Co-worker Bye. Alice. See you thank later. you. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Robert, you have a chance to make the playoffs. Good to see you, <laughs> Steph. Yeah, man. You guys we'll are see. sitting right in there. In that seventh spot. If they make the playoffs, you're going to have to start watching. Well, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not a fan of fair weather uh, 